Hi guys! Of all the renovations that you can do in a house, the bathrooms and the kitchens are by far the hardest. There's no denying that. So in this video, I want to show you two full renovations that we did in my 1968 mobile home, which was our first mobile home here in the US, and also the first full renovation that we did in a house ever. We had no experience at all. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll tell you more along the way. Let's go. So I wanted to show you the weird layout. On the right side, you can see it had only a sink and a shower. And then the top right had the water heater and bottom right was a small wall. That was wasted space. And in between the bathrooms, there was an opening, no door. And then the left side was equally disjointed. It was only one toilet, the shower, and on either side, a closet and the heater. I don't know about you guys, but for me, going to pick materials for the bathrooms or for my renovations is the most exciting and the funnest part of everything. So in this case, we went to so many places, but believe it or not, Costco has a lot of really good prices and that's where we got the majority of our materials. So we landed on gray for the hallway bathroom and then some beige for the master bathroom. In the future though, I think I'm gonna do just one color scheme for every bathroom because it saves you time in trying to figure out the designs and you can use the surplus for the other bathroom. We started by cutting everything and the reason for this is because we needed to do several things. We needed to reposition the doorways, the windows, reposition the plumbing for the toilets and the sinks and also close off the wall in between the bathrooms and we did hire somebody because i didn't know anything at that point i didn't have the experience and i don't like plumbing anyways so it's always good to hire out when you don't know the skill because in the long run it's gonna be cheaper we put two by fours to have good framing instead of the two by twos that were in the house it really felt like we were living in a dollhouse with those. This is the view of the hallway bathroom from the outside and then the same view with one side of drywall up. And then this is the wall between the bathrooms closed off. And another thing to have in mind when doing renovations is that you're going to be taking lots of trips to the hardware store so you better like it there. This is a material that we got for the bathroom and we did the showers with hardy back and nowadays there's better and lighter systems like the uncoupling membranes. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the Schluter system. This is great for mobile homes to take off the weight from the installation compared with a hardy backer. Are you finding value here? Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and be sure to check out all my other videos because I have lots of stuff to share with you. I already went through the rough times and I just want to make things easier for you. Things were really taking shape after putting the hardy back. The tiles and the floors were installed and I really couldn't believe this was my bathroom or a mobile home bathroom. Here's some things to keep in mind when you're designing a shower. One is buy tile that has texture like stone that makes it slip resistant. Number two, make sure there's an incline towards the drain, that way water doesn't pool. Number three, if possible, tile the shower walls all the way to the ceiling. That avoids the shower vapor from the walls and makes cleaning easier. Number four, paint with semi-gloss paint, which is gonna avoid mold. Moving on to the other side, you can see the vanity and the toilet and the old window was still on the left side. We moved that window to the top and that made it much brighter. And from there, all that was left was the details. I hung those cool industrial lights that I recently saw on Instagram. By the way, you can join me there. I'm there at Susie Makes It and you'll see weekly updates on what I'm working on. So let's go ahead and see the reveal. What do you think? Is this your style? If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe so I can bring you more videos like this. 
Okay guys, after the first reveal, I am really pumped to show you the second bathroom, so let's go check it out. In this bathroom, we completely took out the closet that was there and expanded the shower to have more space. Then we added the vanity that wasn't there at all and we repositioned the toilet. The window here was also repositioned and we put it up on top, which gave us much more light. And then the guy who helped us in the first bathroom didn't do the second one, but it turned out to be better because I learned so much more in doing bathrooms and I'll show you here why. We didn't put this green drywall in the first bathroom, but this kind of drywall is better for resisting humidity. This is something that I'll keep in mind for my next bathroom remodel and a tip for you as well. At this point, I was already doing all of the drywall work and I still wasn't doing the plumbing. The plumbing was done by somebody else and they had to reposition all of the plumbing there for the shower, the drain, and right there you can see there's an aqua bar that's another layer that goes behind the hardy back that's gonna prevent humidity. This bathroom definitely had a lot more work to do. The red that you see there on the floor is called Red Guard, which is basically a plastic paint and another layer in preventing humidity. Then it was all about finishing the tile work and he did a really great job. I was in charge of the walls, so I needed to do some painting and I also needed to fix that hole there and that was really difficult, I remember. Going back to the window, we replaced it and put it up on top which gave us that light that was amazing. And one of the things that I do remember is the insulation there. We should have changed it for new, but we didn't know and that's something that we did for the kitchen. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead after this one and check out the transformation there as well. It's vanity and toilet time again, guys. And in this bathroom, we repositioned the toilet that was by the window, moved it over to the wall. And this guy really liked his Coca-Cola. There was always one there. Joking aside guys, everything was looking really good. We were so excited. You can even see Coco there peeking at what was going on. And here's a peek at when the floors were being installed. One of the things that I will say is that light tile with the texture that this one had was no good. It got dirty all the time. So let me know what color bathroom did you like the most? Did you like the gray one or do you like this beige one for the master bathroom? We were really happy when we finished this one and we decorated with warm tones and golds. We just brought everything together. This was such a fun video guys, to go back and see all that we had done for this house and to share all my tips and tricks. Hope to see you in the next one with all that we did for the rest of the house and give you more ideas on how to make your house a home no matter where you live. God bless you.